Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a open circle polka dot pattern using the stroke feature in Photoshop. Let's start by opening our pattern document. Go ahead and create a new document. In this case, I'm going to make it uh, change this to pixels and then we're going to go a width of, width of 400 pixels by 400 pixels. And then I'm just going to leave my resolution at 300. Uh, color mode is RGB. And then we'll have our background sent to transparent. And then go ahead and create that document. And then I'm just going to zoom in. Um, for Mac users, you're going to hit Command uh, with the plus sign to zoom in on your canvas. Uh, to start off with, we're going to access our ellipse tool here. You can uh, right click and select the ellipse tool. And then I'm just going to uh, select the center here and then the width of our circle, we are going to do 150 pixels by 150 pixels. And then just click OK here. And then um, up in the top menu, we're going to uh, change the fill to uh, no fill. And then here at the stroke, we're gonna give it a stroke and then uh, we'll just do uh, black for that stroke and then we'll change um, our um, the stroke width to, uh, let's do uh, 12 pixels here. And then now we have our kind of our open circle here um, in the center. So um, with that layer selected, I'm gonna change uh, to the marquee tool, just select uh, M on the keyboard. And then I'm gonna select all, Command A, and then um, what you'll notice is kind of those marching ants around the document here. And then we're going to move to the move tool. You can do that by selecting V on the keyboard. And then um, with that selected, you can see uh, we're going to center it to the center and then um, this one as well vertically to align it to the center. Um, I like to do that just to make a Photoshop do the work instead of just kind of um, dragging it to uh, center the object. I like to have um, Photoshop do it with these um, transformation controls here. So I will go ahead and um, do Command D to deselect um, that layer. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and make a duplicate. Right click and duplicate layer. And then uh, with this one, we're going to go to Filter, Other, and then you're going to go Offset. And then um, Photoshop will prompt you to uh, convert it to a smart object. And then uh, from here, um, what you'll want to do is, uh, it already has the values in there here, but whenever you want to um, kind of move it to the corners, you're going to um, have the size of your document. So in this case we did a 400 by 400 pixels uh, square and so in this case you're going to um, offset your um, element uh, 200 pixels horizontally and uh, 200 pixels vertically and then on, on this undefined areas area you want to uh, make sure you select wrap around to uh, get it to go in all of the four corners there. And then you can go ahead and hit OK. And so uh, now we have our basic uh, pattern shape um, to uh, be able to create our, our uh, repeating uh, circle pattern here. And so um, what I like to do is I always like to uh, change the color of one of these. So I'm going to add a, a solid color adjustment layer, uh, select like a red color. And then uh, just clip that to um, our circle here. So you're going to go uh, right click and then uh, we'll get to our create clipping mask. And then um, we'll undo that one because I was on the wrong layer. Sorry. There we go. And then we'll go release clipping mask and then we'll do that uh, to this one instead. And then we'll choose our Create Clipping Mask. And so now um, we have our pattern. So to uh, create a pattern, we will go to Edit. And then you'll go to Define Pattern. And then you can go ahead and give your pattern a name. 
and then click OK. And so now uh, we have our pattern created. And then I will go ahead and create a new document. So go to File, New. And then uh, this time I'm going to make it the size of a uh, digital scrapbook paper. So we'll change this to inches. We'll go 12 inches uh, by 12 inches at a resolution of 300 uh, pixels per inch. We'll leave our RGB color mode. And this time we'll just um, change it to a white background and then uh, create that document there. And now uh, to fill it with our pattern, we're going to go to um, the adjustment layers here and then I'm going to add a pattern layer and then I will select uh, my most recent pattern here. And then uh, when it comes to patterns, you can always uh, choose to scale your pattern. Um, you can change the angle. And then uh, when it's when this dialog box is open, you can always move your pattern around um, on the canvas here. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the snap to origin, which basically moves it back to its original place. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then from here, I'm going to uh, color it. So we're going to give a um, another adjustment layer here. We're going to go a solid color this time. And then uh, let's do um, like a blue and then hit OK. And then again, we're going to create a clipping mask to uh, that pattern layer. So the uh, shortcut key for that is you're going to um, hover between the two layers and then just click Option and then it will create a clipping mask there. And then I'm going to add another solid colored layer underneath to be our background. So you can um, easily change the color of what you want the background to look like there as well. So this is just kind of an easy way um, to uh, customize the colors. This is now can be a kind of a template document for you. You can save as a, as a template. And then whenever you want to use this pattern design, you can come in here and you can change out the colors here as well. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, turn this layer off because I want to show you um, from this, you can also create this like two tone, two colored um, design as well. So I'm going to highlight in the layers panel here, both our pattern layer and our um, color layer. Before I do that, I'm going to change this completely to white there and then I will highlight those two layers and then I'm going to use, um, I'm going to click shift option command E uh, for Mac users. And then uh, what that will do is that will create, I think it's, I think it's called the stamp tool um, where it will create a, a flattened image of those two layers. And then uh, we are going to um, highlight, create a new layer here. Um, we're going to turn this uh, clipping mask off here for a second. On this layer, we're going to grab the magic wand tool. And then I'm just going to zoom in. I'm just going to select all the black here. And then you'll want to make sure that this contiguous is unchecked so you can highlight all the black. And then on that new layer, we're going to fill it with our background color. So you're going to go Command delete to fill it in and then what you'll notice um, on that layer it will have filled in all of that with black and so um, we'll go ahead and deselect that and then we'll go back to our original layer here and this time we're going to select all of the red and then I will create a new layer and again we'll fill that with black so we'll um, with the shortcut keys, command, uh, delete for Mac users, um, you'll fill that area with black and then we'll go ahead and deselect that there. So now uh, back in the layers panel here, uh, we're going to now um, customize those colors as well. So let's move this layer down, just get a little bit organized here. Um, we will take those three layers and then we're going to create a group and so you can do that by going to right click and create a group from layers and for this group I'm going to name it just one color and then click OK there so we have our one color here and then we're going to add another uh, background solid color um, adjustment layer so we'll just leave that white for now and then above this layer we're going to add another solid color 
And then this time, let's do like our blues here. And then we'll create a clipping mask. So again, hovering between the layers, go ahead and click Option, click to make our clipping mask. And then we'll, um, to this next layer, we'll do it again. We'll add our solid color here. We'll try maybe a purple this time. And then we'll create our uh, clipping mask here. And so now uh, you have your two-tone um, color for this circle. So we can add that to um, another group here, group from layers, and then we'll go to colors that way as well. So now, um, like I said, this can be a, um, a template document for you where you um, play with this kind of one pattern design and you can easily um, Let's fix this one, um, make this a clipping mask again, where you can easily uh, change out the color schemes depending if you're creating a new paper pack, a digital paper pack, or you're just looking for very specific colors and you want this design. It's an easy way to um, create new uh, digital paper uh, using this kind of template here. And so if you wanna go ahead and save it as digital paper, you're gonna go to a file, save as and this time you'll want to um, obviously give it a name and then uh, the format you'll choose is a jpeg and then you um, it will continue to be in this um, rgb uh, color profile and then um, when you uh, go to save it you want to make sure um, you'll have kind of the highest quality um, for your uh, digital paper here for someone who's looking to print it and then you'll just go ahead and hit OK there. And then that's how you uh, save your pattern as a, a digital paper that you can use or um, sell. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to create this open circle pattern, uh, polka dot pattern in Photoshop using the uh, stroke feature. In the description below, you can check out my shop where I sell uh, Photoshop pattern templates. And then you can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell uh, digital paper packs uh, for digital scrapbooking. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave me a, a comment below. Again, thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.